perspective and i want an outsider perspective of my city or my hindi heartland that i uh, grew up so that i'm still waiting for that to come in i don't want to get uh, for me what is interesting is something which i don't know and i come back to and see how it has changed you know so that's maybe i'm waiting for that and maybe I also i'm waiting for uh, for a story to happen but yeah i have that in mind that you know somewhere down the line i want to do something about uh, the place that i have been born and brought up right because the stable you come from anurag kashyap is who you started with they've been reflecting the heartland in in more ways than one film yeah, after yeah, film yeah. whereas your films in in comparison to those have been largely bombay or or delhi centric yeah. you're just waiting for that that outsider's perspective to happen to you is that what it is yeah or something like you know you get a story or a script which really motivates you to uh, to make a film about uh, the place that you have been born and brought up I wanted to ask about. We talked about a lot about Imran uh, working with Vidya, uh, getting her to do comedy. Uh, can you tell us about that process? I mean, she is very funny, and you know there is. And the producer's wife. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't the producer's wife when I signed uh, uh, her on, uh, but she's. I think Vidya is one of the finest uh, actress that we have, and a very fine human being, and one of my favorite actress. Uh, and you know the process is is so great working with her is so great she is such a humble and nice human being and very understanding of your craft you know the process of it and as she goes on doing film after film she is also honing her craft so every time you work with her and you as a filmmaker also i as a filmmaker also uh, is honing my craft in terms of writing in terms of of direction so every time i do a film with her it becomes you know a different subject uh, we come in from a very mature point of view from the previous film that uh, that we have done uh, so that that process is very engaging also she has a great knack for scripts i think she is one of the actresses who has a knack for script and also doesn't care whether it's a, a first timer or uh, what zone the script is in she would love to and she explores so that helps you know in the process particularly for this film i gave her the script and uh, uh she loved the script but she was little initially little apprehensive about uh, uh whether there is something for her mm. in the film or not sure. how the character would uh, 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 would turn out and fairly mm. uh, she was very being very fair and then i you know uh, kind of uh, explained her my point of view how i was looking at the character and that's when she was convinced and then we started working together on the character on the look of it and and that's how it uh, it came about and it's, it's a very enjoyable process working with her i think uh i hope uh first time filmmakers and filmmakers get to work with her because it's 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 a completely different process very engaging process and you learn as a director you learn so much from your actors you know the way things do they do mm. things because they also have a body of work they have been working with different directors with different actors so you also get to learn a lot and the collaborative effort that it is also helps her as an actress me as a director and in totality the craft of of filmmaking now uh, but was there no hesitation on her part based on the fact that i mean i can't remember the last time a hindi film made fun of its heroine's weight you know she's called a bhans in the film all sorts of fat jokes are made about her well i mean this is interesting to me that she was completely as a popular a list star willing to come on board for something like this yes exactly yeah it's it's very i think if you look at it is very unflattering it is. in that yeah. sense uh, but that's what is great about vidya that's what is great about her that she will go to any length to you know uh, to make the character that is there you know uh, once she has agreed to do the film and that's what is great about her where you know she she takes it as a challenge you know and she will make sure she will make you conscious whether she is looking like that or not hmm. you know so so i think it's it it that's what is great about her and that's why i she's my favorite actress and i would want lot of directors you know and first time directors to work with her because it's a, it's it's an amazing amazing process right tell us a little bit about the other actors because rajesh sharma who was very good in no one kill jessica as well yeah. so uh, him we know but the others you know namit and you know. 
Namit, uh, of course, Rajesh Sharma is a brilliant actor and one of the actors whom I really like because with him, he's an actor where you say that, sir, he work nahi kar raha, he'll come up with 10 other things. You know, and that's what is, is, is great. That's what uh, is fascinating while, while you are directing. Namit uh, uh, was somebody whom I had not worked with previously, but when I saw the audition, he was uh, somebody whom I could, I thought was closest to what the, the character was. And uh, he had done some theater and I had, although I don't like uh, theater in that sense, but I love theater actors. So, uh, so for me, when I uh, saw the audition and realized that uh, he has done a lot of theater uh, and uh, 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 saw basically what uh, uh, the, the audition was, I thought he was perfect for Idris. And that's how he came in. Uh, and other actors, I mean, they were small parts. They all came in from audition. I mean, there, there are very few uh, 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 characters in the film, but all of them came from uh, uh, audition and they were, I thought, uh, the best to play the part from the audition that I saw. Right. No, I was asking more on a point of as a writer when you were picturing these characters and how you would okay. cast them in that way. But coming back to the writing of it, uh, one of the things I find really interesting about the film is that there is uh, almost no exposition throughout the film. We don't know Sanju's backstory, we don't mm. know how he was a safe cracker, we don't know the person who comes in at the climax. We, there's nothing spelt out, nothing explained, there's no, yeah. you know, no spoon feeding at all going on. So was that something you were very conscious of as a writer? Was it yeah, I think I, I find that at times I read reviews and I find it very... I don't like that when I read, you know, where one says that, you know, you have to have a background. This and that, why? I mean, it's not... Uh, I mean, I don't find it very necessary. You know, what engages you is what you see. Right. You know, if I have to give a background, you know, then it would be another film. You know, whether you are engaged by what you are seeing in which, whichever form, I mean, be it comedy, be it thriller, whatever you see, why do I need to, why do I have to go back and become, say, that's another stereotype. Right, absolutely. You know, in a sense that this character, where does he come from? What does he do? Are, I'm not interested in where does he come from, I'm interested in what is he doing. In that format, if you have not liked, if you have a point of view, of view fair, fair enough. Uh, that is also fair enough that you want to know whether you know uh, uh, this background is there or not. But for me as a writer, I find it, I don't find it liberating. I find it very restrictive. I find it that I have to uh, spend my time and energy and don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't want to work hard on that. It's not that, uh, uh, that it's easy writing this, this process where you don't give the background, uh, but it's not liberating in that sense. You know, where I feel restricted that, okay, now, because people like this, because people want to know uh, about the background, I have to do it. So that's, that's something which, which yeah, I have a problem they're, with. They're expect, and they expect it now. Yeah, they they're expect it, it now. So somewhere down the line, I feel that I don't want to do it. Uh, there will be films where I want to do that, but I think a lot of times I don't want to do that. Trying, were you trying to defiantly break away from everything you've done before in this, like in your quest to be out of your comfort zone? Was this film like, were you going against your instincts? No, I was never out of comfort zone. If you look at Amir, if you look at No One Kill Jessica or Ghanchakkar, I think all three films were very difficult films for me in terms of uh, uh, as a writer in Amir, No One Kill Jessica and as a co-writer in Ghanchakkar and as a director in three films because you know, when you are doing something very different in terms of milieu, in terms of, of uh, 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 the subject, it is never easy. For any filmmaker, ask any filmmaker whether any film has been easy for him or whether it has been out of, uh, uh, in a comfort zone. No filmmaker will say that, that any film has been in a comfort zone because it's a very difficult process. So for me, it was not about comfort zone. It was more about uh, what is the idea that impresses me. You know, what is it something that I would like to do as my next? You know, if I have done this film, this film, this is a space that I want to explore now. You know, so that's what motivates me. You know, that's what was the motivation behind. Not trying to do uh, something consciously. Of course, the ending, I was very conscious that I didn't want to do something where he gets up and says, Mama, I'm coming home. 
let's share the booty or whatever the money that i didn't want to do because for me that was very typical uh, for me that's what i've seen so that that i was very conscious about nothing else not in terms of film that i wanted to do uh, you'll be surprised to know that we finished the first draft of uh, ghanchakkar even before i shot no one kill jessica so i think uh, uh, there was no attempt like that it was just that i really like the story and i thought it would be very interesting for me to dump, do something like this so that's what was the motivation but is there a perception with uh, audiences or more importantly with producers perhaps who may who maybe think that you know rajkumar is good for the serious films is a comedy aise bana di which was a little strange for everybody yeah, so yeah of course of course people walk up to me and tell me aap jessica aur amir jaisi filme banaiye a uh, lot of people say that but for me that's that's not that something that discourages me uh, but peop- that's that's also a compliment in a way, in a way no, you know so uh, of course there are uh, my for me the my producers have been great utv have been great for m- uh, me and i get to do what i want to do uh, so not from a uh, producer point of view uh, but of course uh, from a point of view of an audience who has appreciated your film uh they come walk up to me and say that you know you should do this you should do that wo jessica jaisi film aapne banayi thi wo bahut achhi thi usi tarah ki filme banayi aap of course they come yeah something like that they, they just come up and say like right before we go to the audience and i think it's time that we should would you like to talk about your next film the fact that you're working on a chetan bhagat yeah, novel uh, at this yeah, point yeah yeah so i uh, and that's 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 based in hindi heartland yeah. right uh a small town right. in the atl next film is uh, an adaptation of a chetan bhagat book called revolution 2020 right now i have started uh, uh, i'm in the process of writing it uh, but that would be uh, my next film and uh, that's in hindi atl in small town so, so let's see the rounds of kota and all those yeah, places uh, uh, banaras kota yeah. so let's see how 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 it uh, uh, pans out questions from the audience that's films as uh, stories uh, his novels work so well in cinema i have not read any other book of his but from whatever uh, 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 i liked of about revolution 2020 it's it's a very simple story it's a story which is very emotional is very engaging and it kind of talks about your uh, uh, small town india and also in terms of of the writing of it it's very simple writing it's very it's it's written very simply so i guess that's also one of the identification points you know where you you can read it and you don't have to look at the dictionary to find out what the this word means and i'm talking gen- in a in a layman's uh, uh, term but in terms of storytelling in terms of the content of it it's very engaging it it is about uh, uh, about confusion it is about growing up it is about Uh, 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 the system it is about uh, 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 the confusion of at the stage of when you are like 19 20 21 about a lot of things and it really is very uh, very emotional for me it was very emotional a lot of lot of times i thought that uh, 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 it hit me where it should as a filmmaker or as a uh, uh, storyteller i would like to go हालांकि मैं फिल्मों के बारे में बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं जानता एक दर्शक के तौर पे ही अपनी राय दे सकता हूँ प्रोडक्शन के लेवल पे फिल्म अच्छी है और आपने कहा कि ज़्यादा लोगों ने इसको नापसंद किया और कम लोगों ने इसको पसंद किया एक तो मैं ये जानना चाहूँगा कि उन लोगों ने जिसको जिन्होंने इसको नापसंद किया उनके नापसंदगी की मुख्य वजह क्या थी लेकिन उससे पहले मैं अपनी नापसंदगी की वजह बताना चाहूँगा जैसा कि आपने अपनी बातचीत में भी ये कहीं इशारा किया कि एक और तो आप उसे रियल लाइफ बनाना चाहते थे जो हकीकत में चीज़ें जैसे होती हैं ऐसा आपने किया भी और इमरान ख़ास तौर पे वो फ़नी फिल्म के फ़नी हिस्से का हिस्सा नहीं लगते हैं उतने ज़्यादा तो वो फिल्म उस तरह से चलती है और जैसे जैसे आगे बढ़ती है गंभीर होती चली जाती है फिल्म और आखिर में वहाँ हत्याएं हो रही हैं और सब कुछ है और एक माँ जो है आखिर वो एक माँ है चाहे वो ऐसे सवाल पूछती है या इस तरह से बात करती है 
जिसको आपने फनी मनाया है लेकिन फिर भी एक माँ भी है वहाँ पे आ, आप इसको समाप्त करते हो फिल्म को क्रूअल लगता है काफ़ी और ख़ास तौर पे आ, जो आखिर में गीत आ, फनी गीत चलता है तो आ, ये अच्छा नहीं लगता है लगता है कि आप शायद शायद एक रियल लाइफ में एक एक फनी चीज़ रखना चाहते थे और कहीं वो बैलेंस जो है वो बिगड़ा है और अच्छा नहीं लगता है सो इस नहीं बिल्कुल आप जो कह रहे हैं जो आपका क्रिटिसिज्म है फिल्म को लेकर मैक्सिमम लोगों का वही क्रिटिसिज्म है कि उन्हें लगा कि ये फिल्म कॉमेडी थी ये फिल्म जिस तरीके से एंड हुई वो उनको एंडिंग पसंद नहीं आई और क्यों पर, मैंने ये जानने की कोशिश भी की कि क्यों पसंद नहीं आई मुझे ये पता चला कि उनको ये जानना था कि पैसे किसके पास गए मतलब क्योंकि अगर आप देखेंगे तो फिल्म में ऐसा लगता है कि वो दोनों बच जाएंगे लेकिन पैसे किसके पास के पास गए व्हाट इज़ द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द फिल्म मतलब हुआ क्या एंड में हुआ क्या पैसे किसके किसको मिलेंगे अगर मुझे बहुत लोगों ने कहा है कि अगर आप जरा सा भी दिखा देते ना कि वो हॉस्पिटल में बैठे हैं और मतलब मम्मी आ गई है तो तो भी बहुत मज़ा आ जाता बट आप सब मैक्सिमम यही क्रिटिसिज्म रहा है कुछ लोगों का ये क्रिटिसिज्म रहा है कि फिल्म काफ़ी स्लो है फिल्म की जो पेस है वो काफ़ी स्लो है ये कुछ लोगों का क्रिटिसिज्म रहा है पर मैक्सिमम लोगों का क्रिटिसिज्म रहा है ये पर इसमें यह क्रिटिसिज्म नहीं रहा है कि ये क्रूअल है कुछ लोगों का रहा है पर मैक्सिमम लोगों का ये रहा है कि हमें जानना था कि पैसे किसके पास गए और मतलब कि पैसे उनके पास गए और हमें वो फिजिकली देखना था तो ये क्रिटिसिज्म रहा है जहाँ तक आपके सवाल का जवाब है देखिए एज अ फिल्म मेकर एज अ स्टोरी टेलर मुझे ये लगता है कि एक मेरा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है और उस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू में ये कहानी इस तरह कही जानी चाहिए थी इस तरीके से ये जो हस्बैंड संजू हैं जो इमरान हाशमी जो कैरेक्टर प्ले कर रहे हैं उनका बिहेवियर उस तरीके से होना चाहिए विद्या का बिहेवियर इस तरीके से होना चाहिए बाकी दो दो जो आ, फूल्स हैं उनका भी और गैंगस्टर हैं उनका बिहेवियर उस तरीके से का होना चाहिए और वो फिल्म वहीं समाप्त होनी चाहिए वो मेरा एक ओपिनियन है मेरा एक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है एंड क्योंकि मैं एक फिल्म मेकर हूँ और मैं उस चीज़ के लिए कन्विंस्ड हूँ इसीलिए मैंने वो किया पर यह नेसेसरी नहीं कि आप उस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से एग्री करें एज एन ऑडियंस एज एज अ फिल्म मेकर मैं चाहूँगा कि एज एन ऑडियंस आप उसे लाइक like करें जैसा मुझे वो पसंद आया मैं ये चाहूँगा आपको भी पसंद आए पर ये ज़रूरी नहीं है कि आप लाइक like करें तो मैं आपकी बात पे ध्यान रखूँगा कि आपको ये आ, 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 आपके पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू को समझने की कोशिश करूँगा पर ये प्योरली मेरा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है एंड इस पॉइंट मेरे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू में क्योंकि ये मेरी फिल्म है एंड मैं उस चीज़ के बारे में कन्विंस्ड हूँ मुझे ये लगा कि ये फिल्म यहीं पे समाप्त होनी चाहिए आ, किसके पास पैसे गए मेरे हिसाब से तो किसी के पास पैसे नहीं गए और आ, आ, फिल्म वहीं समाप्त होनी चाहिए और इसीलिए मैंने वहाँ पे रखा जहाँ तक उस गाने की बात है अगर आप देखें तो वो राउंड अप हो, होता है क्योंकि ये फिल्म उसके लिए इत, इत, मतलब वो घनचक्कर ही बना देती है आपको किसी एक रिव्यू क्रिटिक ने बहुत अच्छा बोला था आ, मतलब क्रिटिसिज्म करते हुए ये बोला कि भैया आप लोगों को समझ में ही नहीं आया राजकुमार जी ने हमें घन चक्कर ऑडियंस को घन चक्कर बना दिया तो तो जो भी मतलब जो भी क्रिटिसिज्म है तो वो उस तरीके से आ, वो उनका पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू पर मेरा जो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू था वो आ, वो मैंने रखा एज अ फिल्म मेकर एंड यू आर यू फेयर टू डिसग्री विद दैट और नॉट लाइक और लाइक द फिल्म वाइट एंगेजिंग बट एक जगह मुझे ऐसा लगा कि Uh, कहीं uh, कोई चूक हुई फॉर एग्जांपल करता है दो गुंस को भूल जाता है कि कौन है जब पैसे की बात आती है उसको पकड़ते हैं तो वो कहता है कि नहीं पैसे इसी ने लिए हैं वो उसको कैसे रिकग्नाइज कर लिया उसने वो वहाँ पर मुझे कहीं लगा कि कहीं कमी है देखिए इसका इसके एक तो ये फिल्म एक ट्रिप है कोई भी फिल्म एक ट्रिप होती है अगर ये फिल्म ऐसी भी फिल्म है जिसमें आप अगर आप कुछ निकालना चाहेंगे तो देर आर थाउजेंड थिंग्स फ्लॉज दैट यू कैन पिक एंड वेरी फेयर इनफ जैसे इसका एक uh, uh, एक रीज़न ये है कि अगर आप याद करें तो फिल्म में वो डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं और डॉक्टर कहता है इनको कुछ चीज़ें याद रहेंगी और कुछ चीज़ें याद नहीं रहेंगी तो मैंने वो लिबर्टी ली है 
मैंने ये कहा है कि इसको ये याद है इसको ये याद नहीं है तो मैंने पहले ही वो सीड वहाँ डाल दिया था कि इनको कुछ चीज़ें याद रहती हैं कुछ चीज़ें याद नहीं रहती हैं तो उस उस रेस्पॉन्स से उसके उनके स्टेट ऑफ माइंड उनका स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वो है कि उनको कुछ चीज़ें याद हैं तो वो बीवी के बारे में याद है इसके बारे में याद है और पैसे के बारे में याद नहीं अब जहाँ तक फ्लॉ की बात है बहुत फ्लॉज है पहले तो मैं सरप्राइज हूँ कि किसी ने ये नहीं पूछा कि 35 करोड़ रुपए एक सूटकेस में आ सकते हैं दो या तीन करोड़ से ज़्यादा एक सूटकेस में नहीं आ सकते पैंतीस करोड़ तो कोई चांस ही नहीं है ज़िंदगी में कभी एक सूट में आ जाए तो बहुत 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 सारे फ्लॉज हैं फिल्म में हम एज अ फिल्म मेकर देखते हैं तो ज़रूरी नहीं कि फ्लॉज नहीं होंगे बट ये है कि फिल्म भी एक ट्रिप होती है वेदर वी यू एंड स्पेशली अ फिल्म लाइक घन चक्कर इज़ अ ट्रिप वेदर यू वांट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दैट ट्रिप और यू वांट टू बिलीव दैट और नॉट दैट्स 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 समथिंग विच इज़ वेरी सब्जेक्टिव मैम लास्ट वी टाइटल पीपल लव द टाइटल आई थिंक इट्स समथिंग डिफरेंट ना नॉट द नॉर्मल वन नॉर्मल uh, वन मतलब पैसे कहाँ हैं हो जाता शायद आई थिंक घन चक्कर वॉज क्वाइट एन एप टाइटल फॉर द फिल्म नो इट वॉज एन एप टाइटल बट आई एम आस्किंग हाउ डिड यू सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो थिंक ऑफ इट एंड I think it it just came about. I I don't think it I don't think it's an offbeat title. I think it, it's very lifelike. We we refer so much, you know, kya gan chakkar wali baat kar raha hai, kya gan chakkar. Lot of, I've heard it lot of times. So maybe it it remained in my head and it came from there. But I've heard, I've heard it. I've heard it a uh, lot of times. No, it was a very nice movie. Thank you. Thank you very much. To Mr. Rajkumar Gupta. and mr raja sen thank you sir 